Hello, I'm back in the pothole capital of Canada, Peterborough, Ontario. It is July 27th, 2020. I'm at Monaghan Road and Murray Street. All right, I just want to get that documented. That's where I am, and I've given you the date. <clears throat> and can you believe it, folks? More potholes. So I'm going to take you down... <coughs> Murray Street and I just want to tell you I bought a brand new e-bike Daymac Eagle e-bike and boy the city of Peterborough's potholes are really hard on it but does Mayor Diane uh, I can't pronounce her last name care? No she doesn't care if you buy a brand new car or e-bike or bicycle or she doesn't even care if you're walking <clears throat> and oh my god, you trip on a pothole. It's happened to me. Oh my god, look at these potholes. All right, well, let's go for a little ride. <laughs> if anybody wants to um, help me document the potholes, <clears throat> you can get in touch with me in the comments. If anybody wants to volunteer <clears throat> um, to help me document these awful potholes, just... Um, write me in the comments. So let's go really slow. How slow can you go in the city of Peterborough? Oh my god, this is really good evidence. Look at this. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Wow. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Boy. Now, I've talked with the city of Peterborough and they said that these roads, these roads right here, ladies and gentlemen, are above <clears throat> or meet the Ontario standard, the Ontario Provincial Government standard for safe roads. Well, I got to tell you, the standard must be pretty low when you have roads that look like this. And I know you're probably getting tired of hearing about it, but I mean, look at this. Just look at the state of the road. Like, you would think we were in India or something. Man, I think Detroit has better roads than this. So anyway, let's take a ride. <clears throat> I had nice blue fenders and a back fender and like sides for my e-bike I had to take them off because we'd be shaking rattling and rolling and the nuts and bolts and screws would fall out <coughs> I'd tighten them <coughs> and what would happen is they would just fall out again so I had to take them off but anyway I'm not even going to use the throttle I'm just going to coast and see what happens but yeah, this is bad, man. This is really bad. Here we go. Hot Hall City. Oh. Hey. Not too bad along here, but not too great either. Oh boy. <laughs> um, it really makes driving in Peterborough a lot more stressful than it needs to be, I'll tell you that right now. And it's really hard on the equipment. Like I said, I had really nice brand new, this is a brand new e-bike by the way. I had really nice brand new fenders, I guess you'd call it. Like a back fender and, and side covers. And I had to take them off because I'd hit all these potholes, and I try to avoid them, I really do. It's so hard to avoid every pothole, and sometimes they sneak up on you, and it's just like, boom, and it's like, holy shoot. How you doing? You're documenting potholes today. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know, somebody was upset back there about guy on the left, but the person on the uh, on the right didn't like me talking about the potholes. But you know what? 
I'm going to keep talking about the potholes even more now. Now I'm going to have to do like one extra video today just because that guy said something about it that was negative. So that sucks for him and me. But anyway, let's see. I'm going to come on to beautiful Donegal Street here in downtown Peterborough where you can get lots of methadone and they also sell crack and heroin and oxys and whatever you want. That's right. Peterborough is a shithole and the city doesn't care about potholes. They don't even care about prostitution. Why would they care about potholes, I guess? <clears throat> so... Da, 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 da. Anyway, I'm going to end my video there, but um, I'm going to end my rant. But yeah, the pot.